Oh, man. So technically, I'm not even supposed to be down here in uh, Houston, Texas. I'm supposed to be in Atlanta, Georgia right now. Man. But it's all good. It's all good. You know, you, this, this is trucking. You got to take the good with the bad, and then you got the facts of life. You take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. I I don't even know if I said that right, but yeah, facts of life. I, I don't know. All right, so I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you very much. Um, today's commentary, we're going to just uh, jump right into it. You know what I mean? If you guys want to uh, know what today's commentary is about, stay tuned. Ryan Little. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Lockout Man back again with another commentary for this evening. Shout out to my man Ghost Still Hogging TV from YouTube. Coming on and chopping it up with your boy tonight. I really do appreciate him coming on. We talked about COVID. We talked about trucking. We talked about the time when the feds raided him. You know what I'm saying? Go and check that, you know, go and check out that episode. Still hogging TV, ghosts. All right. So today's commentary, man, it's, it's a bit, it's a mystery of everything. So let's, let me just tell you about my day. All right, man. Or the last couple of days. Okay. I didn't even get the one incident on camera. Wham. I got everything. Well, actually I didn't. I got everything on camera, but it's it's not good footage it's it's not good footage at all you know when i was talking to the one dude his head his head was like let's just say like the t the tv square was cutting off his head whatever i i gotta i, I gotta what i gotta do is i gotta frame my camera you know i i got it i, I got it so that it's hands free but now i gotta frame it so that the people could be in frame when I talk to them. Crazy, right? Um, also, the new series, uh, Driver Surveys, the first episode is up right now. Uh, I need some suggestions from you guys on when you guys want to see. Should I do it daily? Should I do it? Should I do it daily like I'm doing my commentary? Or should I do it like once a week, like I do the Make the Call series? Let me know in the comments below on how you guys want to check that out. Make sure y'all check that out. If you have any questions for me to ask these drivers out here for the driver survey questions, leave that in the comments below too, and I'll add that in. I'll add that in the group of questions that you know that you guys might want to know about. But check it out. It's a new series. It's you know, it's like man, it's it's like man on the streets. I, I walk up, you know, holler at the driver, get his opinion on on uh three, four questions that I might ask. And it's different drivers at different shippers, receivers, you know, just where I will just make a conversation so that when I make a conversation with these drivers out here. I do not know why Houston police is all up in the parking lot, bro. I mean, he's circling a he's circling a parking lot like he's looking for somebody. Who the fuck are you looking for? Anyway, anyway, so let's get at it, man. So I get down to my first delivery. First delivery, no problem. Went off without a hitch. No problem. Second delivery, though. I get there and I, I, I got the understanding that it would have been somebody there to unload me, whatever, you know, I needed to get unloaded, but I was, I was fast running out of hours. So when I got there, I, ne I needed a twit card to get inside of the plant. Unfortunately, I didn't have a twit card, so I had to be escorted. So if you have a twit card, you don't need to be escorted, but without a twist court, without a twit card, 
I needed to be escorted. So that might be something that I might look into in the future because we do a lot of chemical plant deliveries. I'm just saying. I get to the guard shack and the young lady said, well, we're in a lightning, a lightning alert. I'm like, a lightning alert? Yeah, a lightning alert, you know, like thunder and lightning. So it was, it was a long time. So I, I, I text my fleet manager. I said, look, we're in a lightning alert. I don't know when I'm going to get unloaded. And I am fast running out of hours. Luckily, my fleet manager was like, look, let it run down to a half an hour. Let it run down to 15 minutes. Go back over there. If they haven't gotten you unloaded, then go ahead and bounce. Come back in the morning. Cool. I went back over there. The lightning alert was lifted and I was able to get inside of the plant to get unloaded. But when I got inside of the plant, they took me over to an area where they unloaded their flatbed. And I told the guy, I was like, well, you're going to need a dock. Either that or you're going to need a, 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 you know, a forklift and a pallet jack so you can bring the stuff up to the front to, to get unloaded. So he was like, we don't have a pallet jack. I was like, oh, OK, um, what you got? Well, he got, you know, he came around with the big uh, fork lift thing, but he, he wasn't going to be able to get the load off because you had to you need a pallet jack to bring the rest of the load up to the front. All right. No problem. He was like, you know, the, the, the supervisor guy came out or whatever, whatever. And he was like, um, look, uh, we're going to have to call uh, somebody to come in because we do have a dock, but we don't have nobody working it right now. We're going to have to call somebody to come in. And I'm like, how long that's going to take? Uh, about an hour or, you know, about an hour, hour and a half. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him like, bro, uh. I said, what time are they going to be there? I said, what time are they going to be here in the morning? Well, they'll be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I was like, is it any guarantee that the guy going to come in tonight to unload me? And that's what he was like. I can't guarantee that. And to be honest with you, I can't even guarantee the, the time because I'm just ballparking the time. And I was like, I kind of figured that. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I'll go ahead, come back in the morning, and I'll get unloaded then. So I get, uh, you know, I get backed out. I had to, I had to back in a cubby hole to actually get out the way. And I, I thought I had my GoPro on so I could record all of that, but didn't have, didn't have it on. So got out of that plant, went over to the uh, casino right quick, which was like, which was like 12 miles away. So I went on here, parked at my, you know, parked in the parking lot, chilled for the night. Didn't go in, didn't go in. I was number one. I was too tired. Number two, I had I had an interview with a uh, uh, fit lady trucker or fit trucker lady. Make sure you check out that interview as well. Um, so after I got finished with all of that, the commentary and everything, I was tired. I was done. So I went to sleep, woke up in the morning, got, you know, got to the delivery, unloaded without a hit. I don't understand. You got to go in there with the tow motor, though. Huh? I'd say you got to go in there with the tow motor. Because, mm. you know, they got me over to a dock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got me over to the dock. I backed up into the dock. Bam, bam, boom, done. All right, so I'm on my way to the next delivery, which is a college. It's a new college that they build in Louisiana, uh, Lake Charles Preparatory College or whatever it is. So I had to back off the street to back into the driveway so they can get me unloaded. Check out what these guys done, right? So I get the paperwork. He was like, well, how many pallets? So I was like, you got eight pallets on here. 
He was like, oh, okay, cool. Signed off on the paperwork, gave it back to me. I came up to the front of the truck. I mean, it was hot. <laughs> it was hot. So I'm in a, I'm, I'm in AC, you know, sending the paperwork off or whatever, whatever. I'm thinking it only going to take them like, like 30 minutes at the most. I'm looking at my time and they still in the back. So I walk in the back and I happen to notice that they taking off the load for my next load. I'm like, bro, wait, whoa, 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 hold up. Whoa, ho, ho, whoa, whoa, back, ho, ho, ho. I said, what y'all doing? Uh, I don't know what these are. I, I, I don't know what these are, but we're unloading them. I was like, they're not yours. I said, what you doing? I said, you only had eight pallets. And then the other guy goes, oh, well, we're just workers here. They didn't tell us that. Bro, common sense would have told you that a big, a big piece of paper that's on the that's, that's on the box that got the address to where I am actually going to take the load to, bro. Well, they didn't tell us. I said, well, the person that signed off on the low should have told you that it was only eight pallets. I said, y'all got y'all. I, I said, this right here is y'all's, right? Yeah, yeah, that's y'all. That's ours. We just didn't know what this was. It's not yours. That's why you don't know what it is. Let me let me flip that back. Common sense would have told you that if if you didn't know what it was, why did you unload it? You could have came up to the door. Hey, driver. Yeah, what's up, bro? Um, is is the rest of the palace back there ours? I would have told you no. <laughs> I would have told you no, bro. That that that's not yours. So they already had like maybe eight of them that was already off the trailer. So we had to. They had to uh, put it back on the trailer. I was like, bro, y'all, I said, yo, y'all, y'all, y'all got to put that back on the trailer, man. Come on now. The tow motor or the machine with the forklift machine broke. We actually had to lift and carry and lift the, uh, the load back onto the truck. Luckily, the pallets was light as hell. Luckily for that, because once that once that forklift broke, I don't know how in the hell they we would have if it was any other load that was like heavy or whatever. I don't know how in the hell we would have got it back on the truck. To be totally honest with you, they had a tow motor inside the building, but they couldn't bring it out. I was like, why y'all can't bring it out? I mean, it's I mean it's. The door is wide enough for it to fit through. No, no, we, we, we can't bring the we can't bring the tow motor out. Okay. So like I said, again, lucky luckily for us, <laughs> we was able to lift it up and put it on a trailer. And um and yeah. So I go back, you know, make sure that everything is tight and all like that. I asked the guys, I says, uh, hey, I says, can one of you come on and help me right quick so I can, you know, butt this up so it can be tight because it's real, real. If it's not, if it's not buttoned up against each other, it will easily fall over. All right. He, the one dude had the audacity to, we're tired. So I can't get one of you guys to come and help me. You you know what? All right, whatever. You know. So still, <laughs> that was that that was a moment. I I literally had to come back to the truck and put my hand put my head in my hands like, boy oh boy oh boy. I mean, like I said, common. It, it, it's 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 like it, a big sheet of paper that has the address and the name of the company where, you know, where the load is going to. If you don't know what it was or what it is, you should have came up and asked me what it was. Where, where were you? 
I'm in a truck doing my paperwork. Oh, well, you should have been back here. No. The person that signed off should have told you how many uh, pallets to take off, bro. Let me know in the comments if I was wrong for that. I, I don't know. I don't know, but it's crazy. But I got it. I'm good. I'm, I'm good, you know. So now I'm over here on the strip. <laughs> I, I call this the strip right here in Houston. In Houston. It has a pilot, a loves. If you guys been on the strip, then y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm at this one truck stop. Luckily, the loves is like filled to capacity. The pilot is like they they only had um uh, only thing they had left was like maybe two um two reserve spots. And then I just drove down the street to this mom and pop's joint, which had plenty of fucking parking. See, that's what I'm talking about. Parking. If you lucky, if, if you lucky to find a mom and pop's joint, fuck with that, man. Instead of messing with the majors, because you ain't going to find a parking spot in the majors. But I guarantee you in a mom and pop's joint, you, you'll find plenty of parking truckers path make sure you jump on truckers path because that will show you any truck stops that got parking truckers path i'm just saying all right so let's get into uh the commentary commentary always comes from a post that i read somewhere either on instagram facebook uh linkedin or whatever you know I just happened to read the post, read the comments, and I think it's an interest, interesting post to share with you guys. Here it goes. So, what is the problem with these people and trucks? I don't know. Let's find out. I get such disrespect out here. It is ridiculous. I get four-wheelers to cut me off, slam on brakes, and shoot me the bird for no reason. It's crazy how much they hate us. It is crazy how much some of these drivers, these drivers of four wheelers, cars. If you guys want to know what a four wheeler is, it's a car. <laughs> That's number one. It's just a driver that drives a car, you know, four wheelers, you know, that's that's truck talk for cars. But anyway, it's it's. It's I agree. It is so ridiculous how all these drivers out here don't give us no kind of respect. That's the story of my life. No respect. I <laughs> don't get no respect at all. You, you know, they they see we driving a a, a eighty thousand pound truck, potentially dangerous hazards be on trucks. We can't stop on a dime like you do. So when you come in and literally cut us off and we sl we, we slam on the brakes and skid and 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 rear end you and then you get out of the car and get mad at us for crashing into you because of you cutting us off that's the story of my life no respect <laughs> i don't get no respect at all now in any accident it's always always the trucker's fault until we are found not responsible but at that time it is our fault and you know as i'm driving another thing too as i'm driving up and down these highways I see a lot of billboard lawyers call me Big John the Hammer for injury claims in a trucking accident. And then they got like a they got like a picture of a big truck in the background. I mean, this is going all up and down the highways. Not to say that, you know, not to give not not to give drivers any ideas i'm just saying 
They just happen to ride past a billboard and say, hmm. And then notice a big truck behind them. Hmm. And then they try to uh, cut them off and cause an accident. Hmm. So that they can get uh, so that they can get paid. What is up with Houston tonight? They all up in this parking lot deep, man. They is in this parking lot deep. Anyway, um, and then they just happened to see the hammer. Big John call me for injuries if you've been in a trucking accident. And then there they go. Do, 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 do. Hello? I've been in a trucking accident. <sighs> pitiful. It is so pitiful that 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 we get so disrespected out here. But again, you know, we we're the ones that sacrificing our lives out here to to potentially make your life better. We're bringing you medicine, food. Hell, we brought you the car that you driving to cut us off. I mean, coming from the plane train it's the truck that brings it the rest of the way. But y'all don't give us no respect. That's the story of my life. No respect. <laughs> I don't get no respect at all. Y'all don't give us no respect at all. None. I'm just saying. Like I said, man, I, I, I'm not sure if it's two police cars or one. But this one cop. Or this one police car is circling the parking lot hard. I mean, what y'all, who y'all looking for? Y'all must be looking for somebody. But like I said, we're, we're here on the strip where things happen. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you lock your doors and stay safe over here. I'm done for the night, so I'm, I don't even have a reason to go outside. But anyway, but anyway, let's, let's get back at it. Um, yeah, we, we, we bring you the goods that make your life comfortable, but yet you make it hard for us to do our job. Get out the way when you see us coming through. That's all you have to do. If, if you, you see the blinkers on and we need to get over either you know to get off the highway here you come zooming up on the side of a, on on our blind side making it difficult for us to get over to get off why is that the blatant disrespect bro that's the story of my life no respect <laughs> i don't get no respect at all just 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 back just ease on the brakes a little bit give us our space and so we can get over and get off. Same thing when you're getting over. Get speed up just a little bit more and then give us our space. We need we we need about a we, we need about a car length or two car lengths of space so that we when we do our Smith systems, you know, eyes on the prize on the big picture. You know what I'm saying? And we can see that space and we can actually maneuver if anything we need to do. Five seconds, six seconds, 10 seconds. We can actually see, see what's gonna happen so that we can anticipate what's gonna happen. Give us our space. Give us our just do. Give us, just give us an accolade. Hell, just say, Yo, thank you, trucker. Thank you for making my life better. Because that's exactly what we do. We make your life better. When you, when you go on Amazon and make your purchase from the internet, who do you think brings it to you? Yeah, yeah, y'all will say uh, UPS or, or the FedEx Sprint, Sprinter Delivery. No, where do you think, who do you think bring it from the distribution center 
to Amazon for you to get it. The trucks. We do. 11 hour days, 14 hour shifts. Opening and closing, bumping docks all day. Hey, hell, that's not that's not fun. Especially to a sick person like myself, that's not fun. But I gotta come out here and support my. I mean, I gotta come out here to support my family and make sure that they are right. So I gotta do this to make sure that your family is 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 comfortable. I gotta sacrifice my family to have to to make sure that your family is comfortable. But y'all don't give us no respect. Y'all cut us off. Y'all give us the bird. Y'all, y'all blow your horns in such disrespect. Y'all eat your burgers. Y'all on the phone. Y'all, y'all putting on makeup changing clothes or whatever y'all late for work y'all speeding that's a story of my life no respect i don't get no respect at all i've been trucking for six years i've been trucking for six years now and i can honestly say i i i, I just about i haven't seen everything but i've seen enough and trucking accidents getting in a trucking accident being in a trucking accident seeing a trucking accident is not it's not cool it's not cool it's dangerous if you're not paying attention to what you're doing on the road then you don't need to be on the road you don't need to be driving all right all right and if you are one of those drivers that that do respect us thank you i appreciate it because we sacrifice a lot for you all right well that's going to do it for tonight's commentary i really do appreciate you guys staying to the end don't forget to like subscribe <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. And until next time, everybody, I will come back at you with another commentary. I don't know when it's going to be, but I know it's probably might be the next day or whatever. Um, make sure that you guys uh, come back to the channel. Look, why don't why don't you guys consider joining the channel? Because I am bringing a lot of content for you guys. I'm doing, I'm back doing the interviews. I'm, you know, getting people to come on to chop it up with your boy. I'm doing truck driver surveys. When I go to the fuel, you know, get fueled up or something like that, I'll stop and, you know, chop it up with the drivers. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing that. I'm bringing that to you guys. I'm bringing the commentary. Every time I find something that's interesting to talk about, I'm going to bring it to you. Also going to bring you you know much much more so don't forget why don't you guys consider joining the platform as well as subscribing and hitting that all button it would be greatly appreciated don't forget to hit that like i'm looking for 100 likes per video now so that youtube know that you guys is messing with me and all this work i need coffee dollar sign lockout man all right Hook a brother up with some coffee or something like that. Um, again, until next time, you guys take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another one. Peace. That's the story of my life. No respect. <laughs> I don't get no respect at all. Ryan Little. <laughs>